Since the height of the pandemic in late 2020, domestic student graduate enrollment has been decreasing. If it continues, ultimately that creates a real problem for the scientific workforce. The grand challenges of our times, things like water, poverty, climate change, are going to require a diverse workforce to propose solutions. We need multiple disciplines, but we need individuals with diverse perspectives and diverse life experiences to help us situate engineering and science and technology in the larger cultural context in which it will be deployed. Here I am with now being recently graduated and I really do see myself now that I have accomplished this goal being able to go to the next heights in my career, whether that looks like being a chief scientific officer or even um, my ultimate goal of starting my own company. It's critical that we have accurate data about the students pursuing graduate degrees in STEM disciplines. We don't have that today, and that lack is a real problem given that a national priority is to diversify the STEM workforce. Well, the Council of Graduate Schools works holistically to address gaps in access to, but success in, graduate education through advocacy, research, and the dissemination and creation of best practices. Graduate deans and other administrators need to have good data to make decisions. So we have our own data that we collect, but we need to have national data, like the data provided by CGS, to put our data in context. The Council of Graduate Schools has a new uh, grant funded by the National Science Foundation to collect data from multiple institutions that will help us understand disparities in graduate education and trends in graduate education. Students need to feel empowered to pursue graduate education because, in fact, our state, local, and national workforce really depend upon it. The National Name Exchange allows students, particularly students who are first-generation college students, to get information about graduate schools and about opportunities that are available. Undergraduate students need a resource like the National Name Exchange because there's such a wide range of universities available, programs available, and it's hard to sort through all of the data. But by creating a profile, universities that have the programs that match the students' interests can contact the students directly. It's really crucial that we create welcoming environments for graduate students who come with different family experiences, different academic needs that not only help students survive, but to actually thrive in graduate education. Underrepresented students are even less represented in STEM, and thus uh, they need even extra support. We get a lot of great ideas from learning from others and their projects and their successes. The Innovations in Graduate Education, or IGE Hub, is a wealth of information about projects that include researchers and practitioners. My NSF funded project is called Mentoring for Life, and that particular um, program is designed to help graduate students become mentors, as well as advocate for themselves as mentees. The IGE Hub has benefited my work by creating a space where I am able to communicate and work with other scholars who receive the NSF grant. So prior to, um, I felt like we were working in isolation with my own individual team Team, but now I have a whole community that I can reach out to, engage with, ask questions, and explore different things and learn from them as well. Institutions can get involved with the IGE Hub first by simply going to IGEHub.org and seeing the variety of resources that are arrayed there. You will find short descriptions of 70 plus projects that have been pushing the boundaries of graduate curriculum design and professional development. There's a newsletter that will keep institutions and, and faculty in the loop. Administrators at higher ed institutions have a, a lot of knowledge about their own institution, but don't see the big picture nationally. Council Graduate School exists to help us do just that. 
CGS projects provide insights that are necessary for our members to understand where they can improve graduate admissions practices and support practices and career development for our future workforce and the leadership of our nation.